hello everybody welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to do tray painting uh, i got a set of round trays uh, like this from amazon and it is made of solid wood and i'm making a hand painted uh, folk art tray it would be a great way to serve tea coffee to your guests and it's completely handmade by you you're going to love it uh, i'm going to be using madhubani art form for this tray and show you how you can paint it let's get started here i've started sketching the image i want to uh, paint on my tray but before that what i have done is apply two layers of white gesso to the inside of the tray and i used a dark wood stain for the outside of the tray just to prep it i forgot to record uh, that that step uh, i apologize for that um, then the next step once you have the board or the tray prepped what you do is you start sketching out with a pencil what image you want to put on the tray here i'm going with the parrot painting um i love parrots so that's what i decided to go with and i used a light pencil to just draw it out see what i want on the tray how it fits and so on if you are a more confident artist and you are able to just directly you know put your imagination to pen just go for it go directly and use the uh, pen or ink for doing the outline. I prefer to do a light sketch using the pencil in case there is a mistake I can erase. But it's totally up to you, it depends on how confident you are. I am using Arteza's um, oil based marker pen for drawing the outline uh, they are oil based so they do not dissolve in water so it's great uh, for outline and it works well on any surface like wood stone uh, ceramic and so on so this is really great so I, i'm just using that to do the outline once your outline is complete then comes the step where you start painting i'm using acrylic colors uh, to start painting my parrot It is not necessary that you use the white gesso base on your wooden trays but I found that using the white gesso instead of directly painting on the wood it helps save some paint otherwise you will have to layer and use more acrylic paint. It all, it both, both of it actually gives the final effect is really good but it's just a matter of how much paint you end up using. Madhubani is such a beautiful art form. It's colorful, vibrant. You can use a lot of different shapes and styles and there's a lot of creativity here. Uh, at this point, I've colored the parrot and now I'm adding a little bit of details just to you know, make the parrot stand out. Here I am using acrylic marker pen to do a outline of the parrot in darker green so that there is some contrast and it makes the parrot look a little bit of 3D effect. So it's really beautiful. It, this, these are all extra enhancements that you do for your painting. It's not necessary but they do make your artwork look much much better. Now that I have finished the main image of the my tray, the parrot is complete. I'm moving on to doing the background. I'm going to go with a light blue for the background so that it doesn't uh, overpower the main image. Uh, the color choices is up to you. It's so much fun to actually pick and choose the colors that you want to use in a Madhubani painting. There are a lot of um, options and color choices that you can go with that will make your painting look very nice. I find coloring a Madhubani painting is so therapeutic and relaxing. Just love filling the image with beautiful vibrant colors. I 
worked inside out for this painting started off with the main image then the background now i have moved on to the border i'm going to go with colors that i didn't use much for the main image so that they all contrast and look good together in the end i'm just going to add some light green to the edges because the white looked like it makes the tree incomplete so now that the main picture is done we have to do some sort of a design in the background which is very typical of uh, madhubani and i'm going to go with polka dots which i'm going to do with these um, dot mandala tools <music> Traditional Madhubani always has intricate background patterns. It's never left plain. The more details that you add, the better the artwork looks. So that's why I'm adding some polka dots to give it uh, some sort of an ethnic uh, finish and make it look more like Madhubani. I was going to show you how to protect this artwork once it is complete using raisin and varnish but this video is long enough that I decided to split it into another uh, part 2. I will be posting that soon, please stay tuned, like, subscribe and comment if you would like to see more such uh, videos. Thank you.